Okay, so first I have this Rilakkuma pancake plate um, inspired by the Remet and Funky Pink Gals tutorial. Next I have this little cup noodles charm and if you want a tutorial I'll be happy to show you. Next I made this really ugly cupcake and it's a fail and I really don't like it so I just decided to show it anyway though because I guess like to show that everybody fails but next I have this baby stitch inspired by Savvy Loves and I don't really like how he turned out either but yeah I might redo him. Next I have this little Hello Kitty truffle and it has a little bite taken out of it. It's really shiny. Next I have this little sour rope and this is kind of inspired by Savvy Loves because I didn't really make the You're My Hero cookie but it's really cute. Next I have this little cupcake dust plug and I used whipple cream to make the swirl. Next I made this little heart waffle ring. Next I have this cupcake that I made without using any molds or anything and I'm thinking about doing polymer clay for beginners video. Next I have this realistic strawberry cake and I really love the way the frosting looks because it looks so real like somebody had just iced the cake so really love how that turned out. Next I made this little skateboard dust plug for this kid that's in my grade that ordered it. Name Ryan. Next I have this little boba tea and I love the way this turned out and the polymer clay face is adorable and I use cernet clay which makes it really translucent so I just love that. Next I made a bunch of polymer clay plates using a mold that I bought from Miniature Sweet and I think they are so fun to make for some reason and I love having miniature plates on hand. So I made a bunch in all different colors. Yeah, so there's those. Next, I made some chocolate covered bananas and these are really like weird I think but they're really cute at the same time and they're really fun to make so if you watch Arrested Development you'll know um, about the bananas. <laughs> um, then there's this Mickey waffle which I decorated myself and created and it's on a ring. Next I made this little cheesecake and it failed too because it just kind of dripped over the edge and made the cake part a little bit red and I didn't really like that. So. Next I made a few more waffles using a waffle mold that I purchased from Miniature Sweet on Etsy and um, they turned out really cute and I love the ones with the strawberries on them. Next I made this little rock family keychain. And I've seen a lot of people making little pet rocks, but there's the dad, the mom, and the little baby. And it's all made out of Palmer clay, even like the tiny little hair on the baby. And I just love the way this turned out. And finally, I made this Molong pen inspired by Lilac Sprinkles tutorial, which I will link in the description box below. And I'm really proud of how this turned out. And I think it's so cute and I actually use it all the time. So that's everything that I made in this charm update. Please request tutorials for me to do and I'll do them happily. Thanks for watching. Bye.